Social isolation is something we do to ourselves. It's not physically somebody putting us in an isolated area. We are putting ourselves in a place where we're more isolated. Why does that happen? We're too busy looking at our computers and our cell phones. We're too busy taking care of all of our specific so-called needs that we don't have time to pay attention. What we're beginning to see is we use technology instead of communicating with other people. I don't go to the grocery store as much as I did because I get food delivered. It used to go to the movies, but now I say, well, I don't need to go to the movies. I got all of these things on Netflix. I just stay home. Even at work, more of us are doing more work at home. We don't have to go in because a lot of it is on our technology, our computers and our cell phones. So more and more that technology, which is in a way helping us to live easier life, is actually making us more sick. Some very simple ways to people to become less socially isolated is, for example, at work. If you're sending an email to your coworker, why don't you just go up to him or her and speak to them and say, hey, this is the question I have for you. Communicate with other people, attend various social activities with other people, maybe lectures, maybe talks, maybe dances, things like that. So the more we go out of our way to be involved with other people, the healthier we'll be. Human connection is the most powerful thing we can do to address cultural stress. Because once we begin to connect with other people, that means we're communicating. We're not isolated anymore. We're more likely going out. We're more likely doing some exercise. We're more likely to feel good about ourselves. When we feel isolated, we tend to feel bad about ourselves. We feel other people are better than us, and we feel angry and upset. And that leads to a disease of itself. So it's very important to have connection with other people.